Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is our lab uh, that is related to population estimation using GIS and remote sensing. In this lab, we will estimate the population using some uh, GIS techniques and remote sensing techniques. So we will follow a timeline as introduction to the land scan data, downloading the data that can estimate the population, opening or assessing that data in ArcMap environment, and then finally the population estimation of Pakistan and conclusion. So starting off with, uh, we have uh, a satellite which is named as land scan, right? Uh, this is basically a satellite that provides you the global data uh, about the population. And uh, this basically, uh, this is a link landscan.ornl.gov. So you can download uh, from this satellite, uh, from this website, uh, the data of the land scan, right? So uh, it provides you with the global distribution of the population, approximately one kilometer uh, spatial resolution. And uh, this database refreshes annually and released to the broader use community around October. So. Uh, the important thing about this is that it uses the light source of the whole earth or the whole uh, planet at the night time and based on that light intensity you can uh, actually estimate the population so you can follow this website for other information uh, the first thing you have to do is to go to the register tab and provide your information your username uh, the purpose you are using and uh, others for example, I have here uh, submitted my application and after one day it was approved and uh, now I can download any data set from here. So uh, you can just have to go to the download section after registering, go to this land scan data set. If you, do not, uh, if you have not registered, you can download the sample data. So by clicking on this land scan data set, you can download uh, starting from 2018 till 2000 uh, data once your data has been downloaded you will have a file like this uh, where my cursor is and you have to go to the downloaded section and you extract your file once you have the file extracted you have to open the arc map environment in the arc map environment you have to add the layer file right so that layer file is global file and it provides you the whole uh, data set about the uh, global population estimation. What you have to do is to go to open attribute table and see this is the value population one is and its count, right? I will uh, tell you how to interpret this. So these are two columns, basically value and count. Let's uh, subset a part of it here. So I have this boundary of Pakistan that is national boundary. You just have to go to the uh, search section and search for the tool clip and then clip select clip data management here you have to input your raster which you have downloaded here you have to specify your extent <clears throat> that is national boundary and in environments you have to select the processing extent as the national boundary so that other area is not included right so once you click ok right you will have a output file like this Right. <clears throat> so this is basically uh, clip data from this whole global population data set. So here in this clip data set, just go to the open attribute table. You have object ID, you have value and you have count. Now here I have added a field called as population. Just go to the add field and name population, select the type long integer and click OK. So you will have a field added over here. So in this field, just right click and go to the field calculator. Now here, what you have to do is to multiply your value with your uh, pop, with your count. So you will get a population table as shown. Now what you have to do is to just uh, right click and go to the statistics and see the sum of all. So it is approximately uh, 2 to 1, double 9, 2, 5, 8, 5, 22 uh, crore, right? So uh, you can uh, see, uh, uh, extract the population of other areas or other countries and uh, estimate it based with the statistics. So this is all for today's lab. Thank you.